particular politicians are now being scared of the obedience because you don't know what's going to happen because nigerians want fresh air and they simply mm. to be and the obedience as the fresh air to come to nigeria welcome once again to another wonderful episode on noble tv and with me on set today is our very wonderful guest our brother Dr. Chidi Peters, you're welcome once again, sir. Yeah, thank you very much, Valentine. Always good having you on set. Thank you very much. All right. Now, straight to the point. The phenomenon, Peter Obi. Now, uh, a lot of a lot of contents are out there saying he has made impact or is this, he has a movement, he's a movement himself. A lot of things. Now, uh, I call him a phenomenon because he has changed the narrative of politics in our country. What do you have to say about his impact in politics in, in our nation, Nigeria? I think I said it during you know, the last uh, program. I said uh, Peter B should be instituted as a course in a university. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As a department yes. in a university to allow our children to understudy what has brought Peter B to such magnitude that he was able to electrify the, uh, the political system of Nigeria beyond his achievement in Anambra states that speaks volume that are there for people to go and verify beyond his administration beyond his uh, administrative acumen you know that's also there for people to to testify and also how he was able to bring Anambra from the state of uh, near total comatose uh, to certain them at a pace where people began to see Anambra as a state that has arrived and of course working with the mdg of course the uh, development program yeah. uh, which earned him so many awards and uh, uh, contact and connections and remember very well that uh, during the United administration nigeria went into a recession as a result of a global recession nigeria was badly hot and of course Peter was part of after he's finished his tenure as governor of anambra state he was part of the uh, economic team of uh, uh, His Excellency Jonathan Goodluck. And of course, that was why they were able to push on the effects yeah. of that uh, recession. And of course, Nigeria couldn't feel that more. But that was a heavy shock. And of course, uh, a lot of uh, countries in the world are yet to recover in that 2014 uh, world recession. And in African countries, yeah. uh, many of them have not recovered till now until they were hit again by COVID-19 COVID and hit again by under a recession and of course now they go uh, begging to see how china or any other country can come to that aid yes. and of course Peter be launching himself into the political space of nigeria began in uh, 2019 uh, when he was a uh, uh, vice president vice candidate, candidate of pdp, PDP yeah. and of course you, you could see all his arguments uh, or doing a, a political debate yes, and of yeah. course he, he's telling nigeria what is on ground and some of the information that he told nigerians are privileged information that me and you don't even understand. Mm -hmm. And over the years, we have taken it as a norm. But it was never a norm. It was a means of embezzlement and bamboozling Nigerian into acute poverty. The issue of the 100 million Naira executive vote, he talked about it. And of course, he talked about a lot of wastage, you know, in governance. And of course, yeah. people want to hear about it because Nigerians are like people that work like elephants. And of course, at the end of the day, it's like less ants as far as we're concerned so again he himself again launching himself into limelight in 2023 yeah, 2022 2023 is also another uh, uh, uh people now begin to see leadership in him people now begin to see honesty in him people now begin to see integrity in him people began to see capacity to deliver people began to see passion people got to see a man that can also liberate the youth because the over the years the youth have been subjected to poverty. The youth have been subjected to gross unemployment. After graduation, you can't yeah, find work. Yeah, Nigeria perfect. have been subjected to more of consumption than production. Perfect. Production that we have in this country are private sector. And the private sectors are also being knit down yeah. because of cost of uh, running their company. And of course, uh, cost of everything is high. Things, and of course, talk about taxation and yeah. so on and so forth. So you find out that over a period of time, thousands and thousands of nigerian owned 
private company have got more bond because they can't sustain the economic uh, uh, hazard of Nigeria. And of course, the multinationals yeah. that also come to the country are not able to also withstand the economy. They also uh, uh, left the country to nearby Ghana, even Togo, and so on and so forth. So Nigeria became more of consumption. So some of these policies he tabulated into his manifesto and encapsulate and so to Nigerians. And of course, Nigerians are now more wiser than before. Nigeria saw it and saw that this is the man that can deliver Nigeria. And of course, he has electrified the system. He has changed the political dynamics of Nigeria. Yeah. A lot of politicians are now being scared of the obedience because yeah. you don't know what's going to happen. Because Nigerians want fresh air and they simply yeah. to be and the obedience as the fresh air to come to Nigeria. So yeah, uh, we're so not surprised that the Labour Party candidates were able to unseat some governors who want to launch themselves into retirement home as the senators of Nigeria. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, about unseating current senators, House of Reps, House of Assembly members and governors, you know, in the history of Nigeria, we've um, never really seen our politicians behave the way they behave right now. A lot of our politicians have decided to adopt the technique of Peter Obi. They decide to adopt the the words. They 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 they, they borrow sentences from Peter Obi's speeches. They 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 adopt his lifestyle. For instance, a lot of our politicians during this campaign period have been moving without security. They move without security aids. They've reduced their number of vehicles from fifty to four or five. They reduce the number of security aids they have with them from a hundred to probably three. All right, then you see them not dressing very flamboyantly. They just what most of them want to now associate with the youth. They wear <laughs> sporting wears. They go to malls. They go to public places. Uh, <laughs> they lick ice cream in public places. They they are having fun. And what the most recent one and the most uh, dominant one is, I've never ever really heard politicians virtually begging. For votes but right now you hear politicians apologizing to the masses saying they are sorry then a lot of them gubernatorial um uh, uh candidates are coming out to say please vote for us vote for me i have plans i'm going to do this i'm going to change the, the narrative i'm going to do that but they are virtually begging unlike when they believe that they could just rig the system and they just bring up propaganda fake one uh, very funny and weird manifesto and they all go sit down and leave it for the, the strongest thug or the one with more money resources to manipulate the judiciary to make their way with, 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 with the results. But that has changed all of a sudden in the history of Nigeria. How has Peter Obi actually come into this picture to all of a sudden change that narrative? Of what we understand well, as the regular campaign in uh, politics. Well, like I told you earlier, as a course in appraisement potency in a university, P2B made governance to be of service to the people, leadership to be a true leader by example. Yeah. You can you have seen him severally carrying his own hand by going as a governor. You can see him demonstrating humility in service. So that is what he has implanted in Nigerian politicians. Service and humility, that is what matters. People should have access to you. Yeah, Peter, we have told you that he has left government nine years ago, but he still has the phone numbers of the senior prefect of schools, and he still calls them and find out how they are doing and what they are doing. He still cares. He still visits some of the projects he, he 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 did in Anambra State to find out how they are doing. So once God has given that opportunity, see it as a service. Don't see it as a way to exploit people. Don't see it as a way to enrich yourself. Don't see it as a way to bamboozle people. Don't see it as well, it was fraud and sharp practices. Don't see it as well of intimidating people with convoys, long covers and so on and so forth. Because if they have built the society to be better, they don't need convoys. Yeah. They move on their own. Yes. You understand? We are going to Lagos. You start a very big uh, flight by, by, by yourself and you're alone. Yeah. Sitting there alone. That's a lonely life. You don't have interaction. You don't have contact with the people that elected you. So they must come down from the high horses. That's what I've made them to. To come down from the high horses and discuss and have that contact with the populace. And of course, I appreciate that politician that came into it. And beyond that, they should also know that the youth are still not at rest until they achieve the better Nigeria they want. So if they like, let them elect them back or let them elect new ones and you go there, you mess up. Let me tell you something, and I'm prophesying it. A time is going to come in this country when house the politician that, that underperform will begin to go on flames. 
go and mark it. Because the youth of Nigeria cannot leave this country of theirs to another country and they are subjected to slavery. They are subject to, to works that they cannot do in their own country. Meanwhile, somebody has been giving money to fix a road and the person is not fixing them. I can tell you the truth. If you go into budget track, you see the volume of traffic in that budget track. That budget track is where the, the tracking the budget of Nigeria and how money goes. I can tell you that with the way the traffic is going to that website, <laughs> my brother, any position that underperforms, that position mm, yeah, will not find it very funny. So, so the, the level of accountability the, is increasing. Yeah, of course. The awareness is increasing. It's increasing. So, and of course, as they rectify the system, people are now beginning to aware. So politicians also have to be very careful to ensure that when they give money to do A, please do the A. You know, because of what you just said, of which, uh, please, is a dis uh, uh, the disclaimer here, we're not actually trying to tear up any kind of violence when he said, go on flames. All right, I believe that's a figure of speech. All right, now basically, there's a school of thought who says, which holds on to the fact, their own theory, that the obedient movement, the Peter Obi um, influence phenomenon, is becoming fanatical. And the fanaticism is, is making it seem like if it's not Obi, or if it's not done the way Obi does it, or if not done the way Obi has said it, we would not accept it that, so now no. that's a school of thought says that is another form of tyranny i disagree with you my brother you see nigerians have now become to be more aware there are states that house of rep members that perform under a political party yeah. were also voted into go back and correct and good works there are some states where house of rep members have stayed there for 20 years doing nothing so it's hard time for them to pack and go so that they will have fresh air they'll have fresh bridge that's a good and big to narratives. So when you say people want change, whether it's coming from Labour Party, whether it's coming from PDP, whether it's coming from SDP, whether it's coming from whatever party they want to come, what Nigerians want is for it change. If by paraventure this election has been adjudged to be the worst election, worst regulation in the history of Nigeria, so, Nigeria, so yes. if by paraventure now uh, His Excellency uh, uh, Chinimbu goes in there and begins to build magic, I can assure you that Nigeria will ask, we, we will drop whatever the anger is and begin to say yes and applaud him nigeria want good roads nigeria want good schools nigeria want food on that table want good policies Nigeria want good policies yes. that will bring employment that what nigeria wants so if you can do it by a crook or hook just nigeria, then let's keep moving the country forward nigeria needs somebody who is going to unify the country nigeria wants somebody who will go to farm and know that he, his head is going to come back on top of his neck not to be cut off and be dismembered so that's what not nigeria need nigeria wants a policeman that work on the street knows that if we send an assignment, his allowance of 1,000 naira should be given to him. Our Nigerian army, who are climbing the mountains and seas and forests of this country, combing banditry, we should also know that when they have good policies, that when they are in that place working, they should have a, a they should have canned food, they should have the facility they need. Of course, the allowances will be paid to them, not giving them so thereafter, and causing them depression, as we have seen in the past years. So what Nigeria need is not what people be say. What Nigeria, what has people be, whether whoever is coming in as a councillor, as a House of Assembly member, as a House of Rep member, as a president, is what I've just mentioned. Okay, basically, in conclusion, I just want to ask you very uh, different context, different question now entirely. We hear speculations that a lot of the House of Assembly, House of Senate, House of Reps, and some other government offices are actually skeptical about the drop in their budgets when the phenomenon will be actually happens to them so could that be a reason why this presidential election has gone the other way around different from what most nigerians actually could see is the way to the light the way to the promised land won't can't we say that selfishness in the part of the beneficiaries in the government knowing fully well that there would be a drastic change in, in terms of the financial misuse of our resources the misuse of our resources financially a major drop wasted funds in our society wouldn't that be one of the vices that must have worked against the initial pronouncement i would want to say the conclusion of the verdict here because the case is still in court the the reason why election didn't go in favor with who most people term or who we all know got the majority of the masses votes which would have turned in his favor 
Won't that be a, a, a this yeah. is this is, this is politics. And uh, like like let me also put my principal. He says you just you don't close your shop and begin to pursue a criminal. It's like you are taking your child to school and somebody break your windscreen and you abandon your child in the car and begin to pursue the criminal. If by the time you are going to come back, you might not see the car, you might see the child. They have stolen. So we are Nigerians are not telling them mere copper. They are forgiven. So as they are going back now, whether they are voted in or they read themselves in, they should hit the ground running by bringing in policy that could change this country. That's what I can tell you. So by whatever they want to do it, that's what Nigeria wants. So whether people voted for them or they voted for themselves, so let them keep, I let them hit the ground running immediately without wasting time. And I believe that Nigeria will continue to forgive them. Go and forgive them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a, that, that's a very good one. <laughs> a very good one. All right, so we've heard from uh, Dr. Chidi Peters. Any final word to, to our viewers out there? That's which is right. That's which is correct. That's which is noble. You must do it in all time, in season and out of season. In Latin words, articles, articles. And again, share, subscribe, comment, call. You can't even dash Valentine money, no? Well, uh, <laughs> Please do, I need it. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. I remain Valentine Agogo, and this has been Noble TV. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.